It appears that Atlanta's murdered and missing children were not killed or kidnapped by one crazed person. Ever since the city began its massive investigation months ago, it has maintained that theory and still does today. Based on all of that, using our own experience in the field of law enforcement, the experience and opinions of those who have consulted with us, including other law enforcement agencies, our consultants, etc., we can say with certainty that we do not have one person responsible for the cases involving the missing and murdered children in our city. People close to the investigation are now willing to put all 16 cases within four separate categories. The first is, of course, the most bizarre. Possibly six of the murders can be related, possibly committed by the same person or persons for the same reason. Of course, they are all very similar. They were all black boys about the same age, and they were all killed about the same way, either asphyxiation or strangulation. The deaths of Charles Stevens, found in a driveway October 10th, and Aaron Jackson, found November 2nd along a creek bed, are considered to be the most identical. The second category, and so far the most controversial theory, is that some of the children may have been murdered by their own family members. We've learned that at least two fathers have repeatedly failed lie detector tests, and to exhaust the theory, the FBI is now re-examining most of the parents. The third category, the most optimistic one, centers around the black males that are still missing. Out of the five now on the list, one, maybe even more, could be runaways, afraid to reappear because of the publicity. The final category is called street violence. At least one of the children is known to have dealt in drugs, and some others were called hustlers by police, kids who would try to make a fast buck the best way they could. It's those kids who investigators believe may have met up with something called street violence. Although more than $100,000 has been offered as reward money, so far it hasn't worked. In any of the categories, no one has given enough information to make an arrest. And the task force getting worldwide publicity is still stumped. It's sometimes criticized because officials have ordered it to keep quiet. If you had to do it over again, Commissioner, would you do the same things, the task force, the reward money? Well, in retrospect, uh, we would certainly do it again. And uh, the task force is a tool that we use. It's a tool that's not unique. We use it in law enforcement for a lot of purposes. The reward fund, certainly we believe that if money would do the job, then the $100,000 would be sufficient for doing it. It just hasn't happened. So call it coincidence if you want, but no matter how anyone looks at it, 16 children in the city are either dead or missing, all within an 18-month period, something that Atlanta has never faced before. For Segment 2, I'm Ernie Bjorkman.